Um, what is it um, about this story that you wanted people to, I, I guess, feel or understand? You know, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I wrote it from a kind of a very personal place and a kind of way of like channeling grief, giving it something to do. You know, as you were saying, like going through all of the steps of making the film just exercised some part of that demon of grief um, and like gave us all something to laugh about and forming a new family um, from my amazing, you know, film family. But um, yeah, I, I, I think it was really um, inspired by memory and, and um, my hope is that, you know, I, I, I made it with love. All of us made it with so much love and I guess my only hope is that people um, can feel that love and maybe take a piece of it with them. Uh, can you tell me how this cast came together? You know, the thoughts of how you chose and how, you know, this great cast. I have an extraordinary cast, yeah, and, um, you know, I was just very lucky to, you know, catch um, Hillary, uh, I mean, you know, one of the greatest performers of our generation and, um, you know, her support and her faith in me inspired support and faith in everybody else in my cast and it really was sort of one of the many, many miracles that came together for this project and I feel very fortunate they are the most inspiring, working with them was the most inspiring time of my life. So, so you know, speaking to that too, was it cathartic as you kind of had to coach Blythe into becoming Ruth? You know, yeah, it was really kind of special, right? Because I had written the script just like with thinking, hearing my grandmother's voice, right? And these sort of random apropos of nothing things that my grandmother would say. And I just wrote it from an instinctual place. But then when Blythe came aboard, it's tough for her to, to be like, where does this line, like, why am I saying this line? What, what is happening in my mind? And to have to kind of walk more consciously in my grandmother's headspace connected me to her in a way that I, I wouldn't have had without it. And I think that's one of like the joys of, you know, I don't know, life gives you so many difficult things and there's beauty in our grief. So um, this was <laughs> a most, a, an extraordinarily beautiful moment to come out of grief.